K-Days will be returning after a two-year pause due to the pandemic. This time, Explore Edmonton will be taking over the largest summer fair in the city after Northlands shut down operations after more than 140 years. <laughs> But under the new ownership, will K-Days look different or will it be the good old K-Days we know and love? Edmontonians love K-Days. We have hundreds of thousands of people attend the event every year. Uh, so this year is a very similar, it'll look very familiar. We do have uh, different um, programs that we're introducing that, that will be slightly different. One of those new programs is a partnership with Indigenous Edmonton, where Edmontonians can enjoy a 10-day Indigenous experience showcasing Indigenous culture and history. History. We have uh, our own dedicated space in which you're going to see an array and variety of, of Indigenous experiences such as uh, the foods, the entertainment, uh, the uh, residential schools, uh, truth and re reconciliation display. North American Midway Entertainment will provide the rides we've come to know for decades with a few new additions. <laughs> And despite the cost of inflation, Explore Edmonton is making admission a little more affordable. So we've reduced our admission prices 25% um, across the board for uh, both for youth, uh, seniors and adults. And for those who want to take it all in, a 10-day pass will be available to purchase. K-Days will be returning to Edmonton on July 22nd. From the Expo Centre, Laura Krause, City News.